I simply cannot believe that there are truly still people who will forfeit their lives merely to see a dragon in the flesh. You're quite articulate for such a bulky monster. I haven't just come to see you. I rather had something more radical in mind, I'm afraid. You do not mean to say that you wish to challenge me? <laughs> I shall break your scrawny neck. Not so fast, my friend. I carry the Eye of Innes with me. You cannot resist my will. Answer my questions or the agony will be unbearable for you. Ah! Then pose your ridiculous questions while you still can. Your power will not last long. Who are you? My name is Fiamathar, and that is all you will learn about me. Once I can escape the spell of the eye, you will go up in flames. Every dragon has a hoard where he stores his collected treasures. So where's your hoard? In a place that will be inaccessible to you. Once I am finally free of the chains of the eye, I keep my treasure high up on the hot cliffs, which should be all but impossible to reach for a wingless human such as you. Servant of evil, what made you appear here? Have you only come to spread terror and panic? The higher meaning of our Congress in this world, little human, will remain hidden to you. What in the name of Innes must I do to ban you once again from the realms of humankind? <laughs> Before you can act, you must first understand the meaning of our Congress. However, no one will disclose that to you of his own free will. The eye alone could loosen our tongues and reveal to you our true goals. In any case, it will be of no use to you when you are dead. The eye has granted you access. However, single combat alone will decide whether you are worthy of me. How can I get the other dragons to talk? Only my heart could help you to renew the power of the eye. But you will not succeed in snatching away my heart. The eye has lost its power, and you will not survive the next day. Yet another presumptuous might who dared to climb my rock. You little humans, so brave and yet so fragile. I shall tear out your entrails and feed them to the rats. Not so fast. I bear the eye of Inos. You will obey me and answer my questions. Ah! Ask your questions. Who are you? I am called Padrican and I shall slowly skin you alive when I catch you. Who is the strongest among you dragons? We draw our power from the elements of this world. Their hierarchy is clear and simple. Land formed of soft earth bestows life on all creatures under the sun, yet it will open up and swallow you entirely if you get too close to it. The rock, which would rather break than ever surrender, towers with pride and buries the careless beneath itself, and yet it offers the best protection from the tide. 
The spark of life lives in the deep fires of this world, and yet the fire incinerates everything in a breath, leaving nothing but ashes. All our elements preserve and destroy, but only in water that has become hard and solid as rock will everything be transformed into an eternal pillar of salt where life is barely possible. Whose orders do you follow? Who sent you here? Our future and well-being is controlled by the Master with his word of power. Soon no one will be able to resist him. His long arm already stretches far from the realm of the dead. The spirits of the night gather in joyful anticipation of his arrival. He will overcome you humans and rule the world. In his shadow, we are no more than accessories to his creative power. The Master will come to raise your afflicted bodies from the ashes and use them to reshape the fate of the world. Enough words. Your temporary power is exhausted. The eye has lost its strength. Prepare to die. to you if you come one step closer. Many of your sort have come. I have swept them all away. Save your breath. Your big words don't scare me, you stinking spawn of hell. Tell me what I want to know, or I will make you drown in your own blood. <laughs> you dare to threaten me, little worm? Name just one reason why I should not tear you into a thousand pieces right now. I'm an envoy of Enos, and I carry the sacred eye on me. You have no choice. You must surrender to my will or be destroyed. Ah! Say what you want of me. Who are you? My name is Pandador, and you would be well advised if you crawled back under the rock from whence you came. Where can I find the rest of you repulsive creatures? The elements from which everything is made hold this world together. Each one stands for the ability to control a part of the world. Search for the elements and you will find the others. How can I defeat your master? He is almighty and nigh unto invincible. Should you be so foolish as to meet him nevertheless, you will die a slow and painful death. This isn't the first time I've heard that. Nearly invincible does not mean I cannot kill him. So, out with it. What must I do? In order to oppose my master, you require things which he would never be able to obtain. And what would that be? You must acquire the finest armor known to your earthly community and wear it on your skin. You need a rune which was crafted only for you. But the most difficult condition of all is that you must win five companions who would follow you into death. Then and only then, can you dare to face the master? The power of the eye is exhausted. Your life ends here, human. The kingdom come. Damn, is it dead? Calm down. It's over. Boy, what a humdinger. Wait a minute. The swamp dragon is dead. 
What are you gonna do now? No idea. I haven't thought about it, really. At any rate, you could now return to Corinus as a hero. Bet there's a pile to be made out of this. Think about it. Why do you disturb my rest? Must I bury myself still further? Just so you annoying little mites will finally leave me alone? You humans are curious creatures. Swept away by the icy wind of death, there will always be at least one who rises from the ashes, thinking he is destined to be a hero. But that will soon be over. I shall personally see to it that none of you will rise again any time soon. Silence! With the power of the sacred eye which has been bestowed upon me, I order you to answer my questions. Ha, ha, ha. Ask away, then. Your knowledge will not help you. Who are you? I am Finkrig, Lord of Ice and Snow, Guardian of the Congress, and ultimately, your death. Which god do you serve? What accursed god could ever allow despicable creatures such as you to walk this earth? Do not trouble yourself trying to understand the meaning of our gathering, little hero. Beliar has not only permitted us to be here, he has even commanded it. Inspired by his holy words, we shall not rest until his will is made deed. How can I find your master? He has established his hoard in the solid rock of the halls of Idarath, and waits there for his destiny. Until he can restore this world to the order which it has deserved, he waits there in deep meditation, and... Spare me the details. Just tell me where I can find these sacred halls of Irdarath. Ha ha ha. You disappoint me, little man. So you've withstood all of the dangers and overcome almost all of us, and now you fail in your inability to use the higher knowledge. If Irdarath means nothing to you, then you'd better go to your magicians and ask them to be allowed to take care of their worldly needs. For quite obviously, you're not yet ready for the heavy burden of their higher knowledge. The power of the eye is extinguished and your time has run out. Stay, human. All of my senses tell me that the murderer of my own flesh and blood stands before me. Really? Who are you calling a murderer, you hellspawn? You have my brother Fiomathor on your conscience, and you will pay for that. Stop making so much noise. Let's get down to business. You have come far, little human, but you will never leave these halls alive.
So now you've managed to find me. I've waited all too long for your arrival. Come on, stop pretending you planned it that way. <laughs> what do you know of my intentions? Have I not sent you the Seekers to lure you onto my trail? Have I not left the signs of my existence so clearly that you absolutely could not miss me? Were not the possessed of your kind reason enough for you to seek after the secret driving force? As much as you twist and turn, you cannot dispute all of that. There is only one thing that was not predetermined. You have destroyed one of my servants. He was chosen to bear the claw. As I see, you now bear it. For this outrage, you will die. Who are you? <laughs> you still have to ask that? Search within yourself, you fool. You know who I am. I bear no name. Just as you bear no name, I am given the divine power from my creator. Just as you bear the power of your god in you, my fate is in the destruction of the world. Just as the preaching of the faith of Enos is your purpose, magician of fire, do you not feel the bond that ties us together? Yes, you know who I am. No, that cannot be. Zardus always said... Zardus is weak and no threat to me. You alone are worthy of facing me. So it is written, the time has come to accept your fate. Why are you here? The divinity bestowed upon me will inspire me to drown the world in a river of violence. Only when the last fortress of the righteous has fallen shall I rest. On whose behalf are you leading your minions to war against humankind? My master is the Lord of Night. You know him, you can hear his call. My armies will rise from the ground in his name and shroud the world in darkness. Enough said. I shall chase you back under the rock from whence you crept, you monster. <laughs> You're not yet ready to defeat me. Only one brief moment, and I shall have reached my goal. Your bones will serve me to let the ill winds of death blow across the world.
Thank you.